Hi there. So we are go going to start the new rune video today, the new rune week. It always starts on a Sunday with a nice sound. I like it. And as my energy is not clear, I use the rest of my weight sage. Um, so when you use white sage or something similar to, to like that, you'd rather use it outside or if you use it inside, like I'm doing it now, you be um, really careful. So, yeah, this is good. So what have we got for you? Mm. I have the Rune Rido and I have the card the Andean Cross. So before I am um, gonna start, I'm just saying that with this card, I'm allowed, allowed to use this card. It's by the Mystical Shaman Oracle Deck and Guidebook by the Hay House Publishing Company. And it's by Alberto Villoldo, Colette baron Wright, and Marcella Lobos. And what concerns runes, um, I use the um, 24 runes of the old Futhark. And in this, the rune Rido is the fifth rune. And the rune Rido is a rune of love. Good thing, right? <laughs> we all need love. Um, so this rune has several meanings. Um, some say that it's about um, a chariot and about movement in life. So um, the chariot may um, carry you um, on your um, way of life, path of life. And um, yeah, maybe you can take the direct rune um, root, the direct root, but um, as I combine endometriosis and runes, um, my way of life is not a direct one, it's um, a roundabout way. So if you say it in English, I hope it's correct, like a, a loop way. Yeah, <laughs> so my CV lo looks like not good, because there are a lo lot of lags in my CV due to me haven't been ill, so um, yeah, my life is really a, a roundabout. And um, but we had um, a family member, and he's dead already. But um, he was really a wise man, and he said, "Hey, it's not about taking the direct route, and you'll be the winner of it all, but it's about the experiences which you take on your path." So even as if your life path or, or, or way of life is a roundabout way or seems like it, then it's definitely about the experiences and how you behaved in life. So how you behave towards others. Yeah, that's one meaning of the Rido. So it's about the path of life or way of life and about movement getting further because life does not stand still you know <laughs> we all know that time goes by and energy never stands still um yeah and uh, the other thing of this rune rido um the other meaning is um that it's um seen as a wheel of fortune and as i already said it in my other rune video today um i hope this wheel of fortune <laughs> moves on now so um, in my video in this morning, I had the card, the medicine wheel. But yeah, so the rider is about the wheel of fortune. And I really hope now that this wheel of fortune is moving in a better way for me. Can I say it like that in English? I hope so. So that things are working out, out better. Because now, um, right now, my endometriosis sucks me. So it's just a pain in the neck. Like, probably all of us have it somehow at some points in, their, in your life. And, um, yeah. So, um, 
This is the card, the Undine Cross. Can you see it? And um, yeah. So the Undine Cross is about the upper world and the lower world and um, steps in between. So if you would like to, I can read it out from the guidebook. I have to concentrate now. <laughs> so first, the essence. The Andine Cross represents the cosmology of the Shaman. It depicts the four cardinal directions, the upper and lower worlds, and the steps to reach these realms. The hole in the center is a gateway to interdimensional travel. The proverbial eye of the needle we can all go through to experience higher states of awareness and wisdom and to break free of linear time. The Invitation The Andine Cross announces the star to a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day to day to that which, until now, has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a resounding yes. And third, the medicine. The time has passed and the window of op opportunity has closed. Now is not the moment to take the leap you have been over preparing for. It is best to wait until conditions in heaven line up again to offer you a more pro Peachious moment. Any bold action you take now will require tremendous effort on your path. Just as important as knowing when to act is knowing when to return to your inner stillness and wait for more favorable times. And you know what? <laughs> At the moment um, of these three parts of this ending cross, I'm with the last one, so um, the medicine. So for me, it, it really feels now that um, now is not the time for action in my life. Actually, I hope that and I prepare for it as well. So um, after having been a long time due to depression over one year, um, I now um, really was pre preparing to work again, but yes, endometriosis is a pain in the neck and probably I need another surgery, so of course I can apply now for jobs, but they w won't take me, so yeah. So my life seems now actually to stand still, it's better to stand still, because of course I can do something now. But it doesn't make any sense. It just m would make sense after um, concerning a job, after the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, I like that card, the ending cross. It's about the upper world, and the lower world, and somehow, as we had it um, last rune week with the rune Ivars, there was also um, the other world. It's the world of beyond. Yeah. I like that. So yeah, maybe um, you might have experiences with this, with the Rune Rido, which is about the Wheel of Fortune and also about your um, way of life or um, path of life and how you move on and what do you experience then and about the Andean Cross maybe about the upper world and the lower world. Yeah, so if you would like to, just write it in the comments. So I'm finishing now this rune video for this new rune week and I hope you are all fine. See ya, bye bye!